Now we turn our attention to the penultimate track event here in 2015, the women's 4 by 400 meter relay. The United States, the Olympic champions, will start here as the favourites. Jamaica have got four from the final. Nigeria had a great piece of qualification. Already making their way out, the French quartet. Perossier, Gayo, Raha Rolahi and Gui. She had the fastest split yesterday. European relay goals, indoors and out. They've never won a medal at the World Championship. Here come the defending champions. Kotliarova, Zadarina, Rizova. Action over. European silver for her five years ago. No African nation has ever won a medal in the history of this event. Could this be the day for Regina George, Oladoye, Adeloye and Patience George, national champion? All four of these women made the final. Christine Day, Sharika Jackson, Stephanie Ann McPherson, Noveline Williams-Mills. Williams-Mills has got massive experience, three relay medals, across three different Olympic Games. And remember that individual bronze back in 2007. Four bronze medals for Great Britain in this event, including two years ago. Christina Hurugu goes lead leg, hoping for a better run than she produced in the individual final. But she is a two-time world champion and won the Olympics in this stadium. What a quartet! Sanya Richards-Ross, Olympic champion. Natasha Hastings, nine times a world championship gold medalist. Alison Felix, the individual winner of the 400, and Francina Makarori, who came to these World Championships as the fastest woman in the world this year. Wow. Carlin Muir goes lead leg for Canada. Then comes Tavern, Watson and Jean-Baptiste. Canadians have never won a medal. Could they get in amongst the mix? And on the inside, Zemliak, Lupu, Pegida and Lyakova. Lyakova has got good 800 metre strength. Zemliak goes lead leg for them. She was the European silver medalist. Ukraine, Canada, United States, Great Britain, Jamaica, Nigeria, Russia, France. What a quartet from Jamaica. You would normally put a team who had four individual finalists over the 400 metres down as the favourites. But how can they be the favourites with that quality from the United States? It's a ridiculously good lineup. Absolutely fabulous, and that makes it even more exciting, doesn't it? Nigeria also one to watch. They run really well in qualifying. And again, it's just a matter of getting the baton round. Not as obviously as uh, awkward as the one, four by one or the one lap relay, but they have to be careful when they break for the inside. Very long leg going first in the 4x4. Four four. Alison Felix is on third. She'll be up against Stephanie Ann McPherson, the Jamaican who was fifth in the final behind Felix. But what a quartet, just to give you that lineup again. Sanya Richards Ross, the Olympic champion. Natasha Hastings, nine gold medals. There's Makarori and Alison Felix. Christina Hurugu, Olympic champion in this very stadium in 2008. Interesting that the British have shown faith and put her on lead leg. She looked really good in the semi-finals individually of the 400 and then ran a different race to that which we normally see from her. Getting a little bit spooked by how quickly Alison Felix was coming through on her inside. So United States will start this as favourites. But Jamaica with four in the individual final and great, great experience all the way through their quartet. The Commonwealth champions will do all they can to deny the Americans what would be only their second gold medal on the track. Alison Felix has the first. All their other golds coming in field events or multi-events. Sanya Richards-Ross. What an athlete to start for them. 
had a reasonable season, Richards Ross, but then it all unraveled when she only made the semis of the American trials. And can the Nigerians collect the first medal by an African nation in the women's 4x4 in World Championship history? Great atmosphere here in the stadium. Gao Weiz Yu still in the mix in the men's high jump. The men's 4x4 still to come. That's Carleen Muir, four times a national champion for Canada. She's going lead leg for the North American nation. Zemliak, European silver medalist, goes first for Ukraine on the inside. Then Carleen Muir, Canada. Richards Ross, the Olympic champion for the United States. Christina Hurugu, the former Olympic champion for Great Britain. Christine Day, Commonwealth bronze medalist for Jamaica. Regina George, relay silver medalist last year. Kotlia Rova, going on lead leg for Russia. And Perossier on the outside for France. But this is Richards Ross. Right, we return our attention to the women's 4x4. Ukraine in two, Canada in three. The Olympic champions, the United States in four. Great Britain, bronze medalists in Moscow in five. Jamaica, the Commonwealth champions in six. Nigeria, the African champions in seven. Russia, the defending world champions in eight. And France, European relay gold medalists indoors and out, on the outside in lane nine. The final of the women's 4 by 400 meter relay. Can the Jamaicans challenge the might of the Americans? The United States, with arguably one of the best quartets ever assembled for a 4 by 4 final. There's Christina Hurugu, former Olympic champion. The penultimate track race of the 2015 IAAF World Championship. And what a race this could be. Well, it's arguably one of the hardest legs to run so, so long, and that is why some of the biggest teams in this final have gone with their best athlete. Sanya Richards-Ross is closing down on Christina Hurugu. Christine Day, the Jamaican, out in six is running well. There is Richards-Ross with a Hurugu, but remember the Britain tends to come late on these legs. Cotley Rover's going well. She's up onto the shoulder of Perossier, the French woman. And Ahurugu is trying to respond. Good run as well from Regina George. As she's now being passed by Christine Day. Perossier's recovering a little bit against the Russian. And Ahurugu's pulling a little bit of distance back from Richards Ross. Jamaica from Great Britain. And the Americans are in third. This will be fascinating on this second leg. The Jamaicans have Sharika Jackson. Bronze medalist in the individual, but look at Natasha Hastings coming. And on the second leg for Great Britain, it's Annika Anora. Well, at the moment, the Jamaicans are, have got a three or four metre gap really at this point, and it looks as if Jackson is going away. She's got, what now, 10 metres or so on the Americans. Can she hold it? She might fade down the home straight, but at the moment, the Jamaican team are having a fantastic first two legs. This is a brilliant run from Sharika Jackson. Natasha Hastings is doing all she can. It's Jackson to Stephanie Ann McPherson. Alison Felix on the third leg for the United States. And it's Ailey Child of Great Britain in third with France in four. But this is what I want to see. Alison Felix flat out over 400 metres in a chase. She could close this gap. She is capable of closing this gap, but really, it's a matter of, what, 10 or so metres now. The Jamaican team still holding on first place, but Felix is closing. Alison Felix, the individual 400 metre champion, is running a storming leg here. She's putting Stephanie Ann McPherson, a world-class 400 metre runner, under real pressure here. Jamaica against the United States, and look at Felix. This is so, so strong. 
Felix hands on to Makarori. A great, great leg from the individual champion. And it's Noveline Williams Mills going anchor leg for Jamaica. Great Britain are in third, Russia four, Nigeria five. Well, this is turning into a great, great battle. We said that they had the best field assembled on paper, the Americans, but Noveline Williams Mills is still in there. She's been part of some brilliant relay quartets for the Jamaicans. She's won medals at three different Olympic Games. But Makarori is starting to pull away. Can Williams Mills find anything in the last 100 metres? Great Britain still in third, Nigeria fourth. She's coming. The Jamaican is coming. Makarori's tying up. I can't believe this. So, so close. Jamaica on the line. Noveline Williams Mills has taken apart Francina Makarori. And it's bronze for Great Britain. Four individual finalists. They didn't have the champion, Alison Felix, who put the Americans in a commanding position on the start of that anchor leg. But they didn't bank on Noveline Williams Mills. Well, Peter, what was that leg by Alison Felix? Yeah, full marks to Jamaica, a great run, but we've witnessed one of the greatest 400 yeah. metre legs we've ever seen. 47-7. Absolutely staggering. Alison Felix can break that world record in an individual she tries. That was fabulous. Fantastic performance from the Jamaicans. They gave it all they had, and in the end, a marvellous gold medal. A thrilling way for the women's track programme to come to a close. Jamaica denying a star-studded quartet from the United States, Great Britain with another bronze. Three relays, three Jamaican gold medals so far. Makarori couldn't believe that. A great season, the fastest woman in the world this year coming into the championship, but Williams Mills had the heart, the belief and the desire